ladies and gentlemen, from the Wind Trust Arena here in Chicago, Illinois, USA. We are set to go with the World Collide co-featured bout of the evening. And it's all being brought to you courtesy of Mr. Eddie Hearn's Matchroom Boxing. This bout is in association with MB Promotions, Salita Promotions, and Greg Cohen Promotions. It's being broadcast live on Sky Sports in the UK and streaming exclusively here in the United States on the zone sponsored by Coors Light and JD Sports introducing your three judges scoring this contest from ringside all from Illinois Pat Morley Alan Rosin and Mike Wax at the sound of the bell your third man in the ring from Minnesota referee Mark Nelson and now, ladies and gentlemen, 12 rounds of boxing scheduled in the heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, he wears white with red and gold. He weighed in at 227 pounds. His professional record, 53 victories. Against five defeats, he has 31 wins coming by way of knockout. Originally from Zbigniew, Poland, and now living and fighting out of Jersey City, New Jersey. He is the former light heavyweight champion of the world, the former cruiserweight champion of the world, and the reigning Polish international heavyweight champion, the Highlander, Gura Tomas Adamic. And his opponent across the ring fighting out of the blue corner. He wears red and silver. He tipped the scales at 317 pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign as a professional with a record of 21 victories, no defeats. He has one draw and 18 big wins coming by way of knockout originally from Belize and now living and fighting out of the beautiful borough of Brooklyn, New York, introducing the undefeated NABO and interim NABA heavyweight champion, Jarrell Big Baby Miller. Gentlemen, you received my instructions earlier. You know what I expect, a clean fight. Obey my commands and protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves, good luck. Terrell Miller, very serious so far. He talks quite the game, as we know. He is talkative, loquacious, and would like to talk himself into a big money heavyweight fight. First, though, he is facing a proud former world champion, now 41 years old. Ray Leonard, your thoughts on what Big Baby would be looking to do here early? Okay. Well, he told me yesterday he just walks his opponent down until, he's, until he lands that big punch. He has the biggest legs I've ever seen. Look, he's big bones, as they say. He's, he's a large man. I remember being in training camp with Buster Mathis Jr. Some guys are just not built Ray like you or, or like you, Sergio. He's a big guy. He comes in now 317. He's been at a low of 242. So he is built like that. Could he lose weight? Sure. But he's comfortable here. That's what he told us. He's comfortable at the weight. And when he starts losing too much weight, he starts getting cramps and starts getting lightheaded. So he likes a certain weight, whether he gets criticized or not. He fights well that guy. Guys, guys, you don't see a big man that size move like this around the ring. Adamic is just dwarfed, but he is looking down low and has already landed some body shots on Miller. Now goes to that head and then the body with the hook. And Adamic's doing the right thing, not standing in front of him, giving him angles, the lateral movement. He can't stand in front of this big man at all. Good shot there by Big Baby. He is fluid with his hands, throwing uppercuts and hooks in the back with the right hand, and has Adamic against the ropes. With the size difference alone, you would think there's no way Adamic can just stand there. Well, there's such a, a weight difference, uh, youth difference. 
age difference, size difference. I mean, there's too many knocks. Yeah, this, these, these guys are different weight classes, basically, but this is how it works. Over 200 pounds, it's unlimited. We asked Big Baby, how, what does it take to beat a veteran like Adam? Like he says, make him feel his age. I got to push him back. I got to disrespect him. Good shot there by Adam. But Adam has, he's doing right, the right thing. Throw his punches and then move. But can he do that? Because he, he has for what? More than twice in a year since 2012. Miller is stalking and he lands a good, good body shot. shot there by is hurt. He got bundled over. Folded over for a moment, but now he's back and throwing. It was a delayed reaction with that body shot. And again, there's a lot of weight behind those shots. It's not like he throws everything so hard, but there is a lot of big baby Miller behind every punch. Adamic on shaky legs. Tries yes, to get out of the way, but he does not look good. Once again, Miller leaning on the back of the head of Adamic, but Adamic already doesn't look sharp. Throws back immediately to the body. I mean, physically, Miller's such, is such an advantage that he just pushes his man around. That's what I was about to say. It looks like two different weight classes here, like two men fighting in two different weight classes. Just big baby Miller is just a huge heavyweight at 317 pounds. Adamic is a, a, a reasonably pretty big heavyweight, but compared to this guy, no way. Yeah, he was natural at 175. When he went up to heavyweight, Sergio, it was, uh, even I thought, I was like, this, you know, the guy's a good fighter, but he can't compete at heavyweight. I was wrong. He was able to compete at heavyweight, but here it might be just too much. This is super heavyweight. Yeah. Looking good. Feet out. You're doing everything perfect, but you're not using the jab. Okay? Now you can get the jab going. There's the body shot. And Adamic buckled under the weight of that. Literally. And Big Baby is it's just throwing arm punches. I mean, he's that strong. He's not putting his body behind the punch. You know, he's also, though, Ray was mentioned, he's fluid. He will throw, he will let his hands go. And it looks like he just has to touch Adamic and he can hurt him. That's exactly, that, that's my point. Hey, Miller is not sitting down. Do we like that? I like that. I mean, with those huge legs, why not? I mean, he could take it. He's, at, he's an athletic guy. He's an athletic guy. He's not only imposing, but the guy, the guy knows how to move. He has fast feet. He has fast punches. He has quick reactions for a big guy. The fans here in Chicago serenading Tomas Adamic out of Poland, now living in Jersey City, as he looks to campaign on. Again, a long and proud career. Won the WBC belt at 175 pounds back in 2005. Beat Steve Cunningham for the cruiserweight belt in the IBF in 2008. And he was just getting started, but these shots are hurting Adamic as Miller is pressing forward and throwing shots. Look at the combinations. Adamic throw. is hurt. Adamic is wobbled. Everything Miller throws hurts, and he goes down. Coming up and down. Three, four, five, six. It's over. Seven. Indeed it is. Too much big baby. <laughs> I love it. This is exactly what he had to do with a person like Adamic. And to tell you the truth, that's what they brought Adamic here for. He's very popular. He's 41 years old. We knew that he's the B-side. Miller did exactly what he had to do as an A-side. He came in with a serious look on his face. He came in through shots. Adama came in, came, throwing punches, but he just could not withstand that power. Not with the difference in weight. Miller, to his credit, doesn't just rely on that. He can box, he is fluid. Sergio, as you said, he's athletic, he will move. He did his job. He did his job, and he did it well, because he didn't just use his imposing figure to, to break him down. He used speed, he used body shots, and he was following him around. He made him feel, he made Adamic feel his age. My conversation with him yesterday was fantastic. And you know what? He was serious the whole time. Never made jokes. Mm. He said, I'm going to be the champ. He's a, he is a busy fighter. He lets his hands go. The uppercut hurt Adamic early. And that uppercut was beautiful. Pinpoint. And it's the power that he possessed in throwing arm punches. 
Yep. Well, power does come from the legs, Ray, and we know how big his legs are, so he doesn't need to really <laughs> throw that much punches because he has that all that power behind his legs. My legs are not even close. That body shot Look, hurt initially. Watch the enemy throws like an uppercut. Body shots. That's the uppercut. You're right, Ray. I mean, it's the whole repertoire. You know, it's all, they're coming at you from different angles. And while he's not known for his power, with 90 pounds different difference, he, you could see, you could just see the, the the weight taking its toll on the damage. And he's mobile to be so big. Takes a good long look, and that's the shot. Miller makes a statement here, and you can say, look, that's not the same Tomas Adamic of 2008, and you're right. It's not the same Adamic that beat Galata, beat Chris Ariola, beat Michael Grant, beat Kevin McBride, beat Eddie Chambers, but that is the guy who did beat all those guys. <laughs> it's a, he has a tremendous resume. He's 41. It is what it is, but Jarrell Big Baby Miller gets the explosive knockout that he wants that his promoters want. He did exactly what he had to do, and we asked Adamic if uh, he loses, if this is going to be the end. He says, my wife won't let me go anymore, so if I lose, especially if he gets stopped, this is the end. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Nelson calls a halt to this contest. The official time of the stoppage, 51 seconds of round number two. Your winner by knockout. He's still undefeated from Brooklyn, New York, by way of Belize, Jarrell.